If you're like me and love a bargain, then you're going to love the link in the description as it's going to take you to Instant Gaming, which is a platform that will save you a lot of money on all of your games. This includes Steam, GOG, PlayStation and Xbox also, as well as many others. I've bought a couple of games from here and saved myself some money. You should too. The link is in the description. Be sure to check it out. You'll actually be surprised just how much you will save. Not only will it be helping me out, but you'll be helping yourself out as well. Be sure to check it out. The link's in the description. Thank you. There we go. Torpedo launched. Nice. Good hit. Good hit. We'll turn around because they have some. Oh, but they're launching one. Oh, that was a hit. The three inch shells are going in. Are you mad? Oh, it's only a partial pen. They don't have any torpedoes left to speak of. That is a good, solid hit. How's it going everybody? Welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts and a Moist Tea Gaming video. You may have noticed my microphone sounds a little different. My other one kind of died, but hopefully this one will be just as good. I may need to tweak the settings on it to make it sound just perfect, but that takes a little bit of doing. I've done a little bit of testing. And it seems to be okay, but you never truly know until you actually get really stuck in there. So what's going on here? Well, we've got two light cruisers here where we're going to go and raid some more Austro-Hungarian ships. We've got a light cruiser and a heavy cruiser floating around here. The weather isn't pleasant at best. There's, as you can see, waves which are wobbling our boat around like no tomorrow. But well, hopefully we'll get there sharpish. We have just encountered the first enemy ship. Which is one of them. We've destroyed several of these. That just says warship on it. Okay. And this is one of the light cruisers, I think. Or is it? Oh, it keeps disappearing. Oh, it must be because they've got smoke on the go. Definitely an interesting design, that's for sure. We're going to keep peppering that. We're just going to speed run through this as best as we can. We can smash that CA out of the water fairly easily. We're just going to watch out for torpedoes because I don't know what is on this thing to be completely honest. Just looks like a shortened down version of a Washington class or something like that. Fair few casemates though. Oh wow, all that just looked like it went under then. As you can see we are smashing that armoured cruiser to bits. just going to go and sail straight through and find the transports. That's the main target. This is a Augusta class ship. Not ours. It's one from our Greek allies. I can also... We're going straight between them both, so we're firing both sides here. A oh, nice... <laughs> they hit the torpedo, underwater torpedo on the Krems. And that's causing major flooding. That is fantastic. Nice shot. Over here, how we're we looking. Oh, wow, that's caked full of torpedoes, but mainly at the sides. We'll be fine. We'll just sail straight through and find these transports. We've only received very minor damage. Like, very minor damage. Nothing to even be concerned about. There, light cruiser again, only minor damage. Lots of partial pens which are just tickling it, really. That looks like it's had enough, to be completely honest. Still trying to find their transports. To be honest, with this fog that has come in, I don't even know if we will find them, to be completely honest. I might even turn around and go sink these. Pretty rapid, the firing on them, not gonna lie. This is one that hasn't been upgraded to the newer class. So all them guns are very small and it doesn't have the 7.3 I think I put on the new one either. But we're going to start heading that soon enough. Flooding, oh it's going down rapid. 
Not really much armour on there. The rudder's gone on it. I can't even see it and it's going down. Look at that. That's already underwater essentially. How can that technically still be going? That is ridiculous. Anyway, that's gone. Might just go and try to find that armoured cruiser. There it is. We'll just go blow that up. Just trying to get out of here. We're closing the distance quite rapidly. 3.7 kilometers, 3.6. We're going to get there soon enough, and when we do, it's going to be gone. This thing just keeps trying to turn away and get away. It ain't getting away. It's just going to prove a little bit of a nuisance. We are not far behind at all. We're only there. Looks further just because you can't really see what's going on with the fog and weather. Really catching up on it now, we're really close. Not doing too much damage because of our small caliber guns and the wrangle that we are facing the enemy it doesn't help either. So if we can pull alongside, we should be able to shred this thing. Engines are damaged, funnels are damaged, secondary towers are damaged. Main armaments are taking critical hits, some of the secondaries are done. Torpedo armament has gone. This is just slow death now. Ah, oh, they've surrendered. Nice. Well, we're not going to chase the transports around for three days. Easy victory. In terms of what's going on around the world, our fleet from that large action needs to go back into port and rearm. We have all of these in here still refitting including some of the Washingtons. I mean, we sank a lot of their ships and once we have refit and got these sorted out, we can then come up here and I'm going to try and take Montegineiro or Croatia. Croatia is a little less armed and has some fat, juicy ports in it. I think I'll go for Croatia. The Russians are already smashing through the army of the Austro-Hungarians and we've also got troops there as well which is quite nice to see they are slowly breaking through as well it really is murdering many of them Germans are just doing their thing for the time being and also oh they're going after Afghanistan as well I didn't even know that Britain is definitely still the dominant force though. I'm going to send a fleet over here and see if we can tickle some of the Japanese. We're at war with them now, so we'll see if we can capture a proper port down here to stage operations from. That would be rather good. Got too many ships building. A lot of Belgium, Brazil are, well, having lots of them being built. Even the Brazilians are wanting some of the North Carolina class battleship, which is the new one that I've built, Dreadnought class. We're nine months away from having ours built, so we'll see. That is this juicy thing. Very nice. Let's have a quick gander. As you can see, it is rather juicy. Two of these are, these will be the first two that I am to build. These are 12 inch fat guns, they should be able to pen through anything at good degree of accuracy as well. And all of these are girthy side inch guns also, ripping through many things that could near it, hopefully. Got a spare fleet down here, now what I might do is send these over to Japan way, just to see if we can start prodding them a little bit more, potentially start taking some of their land. Now these are the new Baltimore class light cruisers and it should be a vast upgrade. I'm going to send these over. Oh, where are you? Yeah, I'm going to send these over and see what I can do. Now, it's going to take them a long time to get down there. So we might as well start doing it now. And once they are there, hopefully we can start a naval invasion on some of the Japanese islands. That would be fantastic. We've got our fleet over here as well, hoping to do the same thing, but in Cro Croatia. Uh, let's just advance time a little bit. Well, that's interesting. The Austro-Hungarian Empire has had a revolution. Still at war with them. 
Got another little convoy we can go and have a gander at. Let's get that done out of the way. We've got the Young Town. These are a rather good crew. Very seasoned in a updated version of the ship, which is good. And we'll see if we can smash them out. There's a danger of a torpedo run happening against us. Let's just get in there and see what we can do. One heavy cruiser and a torpedo belt. Let's just go north east uh, that way and it's a nice clear day once the ship stops having a bit of a fit we'll all be rather good as you can see these there 7.2 they're a lot better they should be able to pen through most things now the 3.3 inch casemates there's a lot of them I mean they're not great but they are good for taking care of torpedo boats and these are slightly better, slightly upgraded, slightly longer barrel, and we'll see just how effective that is. Enemy sighted already, that will probably be the armed crew. Oh, it's a transport. Oh, the, we've seen them first. Okay. Oh, here we go. There's the armored cruiser. This one is a healthy one. It won't be for long. So if we just go at them down that way should be good our main gun is firing what's the reload rate on that 27 seconds it's not great but it is what it is that will be their torpedo boat screaming along and their transports are heading that way that torpedo boat is so fast we need to be wary of that I'm gonna target that torpedo boat actually because that gets real dangerous real quickly if we have a quick gander at it they've probably got two torpedo tubes at the back and they do try and aim everything at that and it's probably going to miss a million times but it is what it is oh yeah we've got the upgraded the new torp system oh nice we hit it we hit the torpedoes they're now no longer a threat <laughs> the one hit that came down hit the torpedo tubes and now that's just a floating little boat again so we'll start aiming for the armoured cruiser really if I can get the torpedo off that would be quite good actually if we just aim in the general direction we'll soon see not too bothered about hitting it with these little guns they're not going to do very much but I am wondering if it will fire a torpedo Now these two front guns should be pretty good at hitting them. Currently they're not firing for whatever reason, but it is what it is. They also have torpedoes on them. There we go, torpedo launched. Nice, good hit, good hit. We'll turn around because they have some. Oh, that's not done them any favours. Oh, but they're launching one. Oh, that was a hit. Engine damage and flooding, but we are a lot better at sustaining that damage. Just by nature of the ship itself. Now, if we just keep cruising around this thing, we should be able to finish it off. Ideally, I'll go alongside it. But we'll try and get over there. Engine damage might be able to fix itself, but that area is flooded. We'll see. They might even be able to pump that out, you know. That'll be quite good. This will definitely give the crew more experience, that's for sure. Lots of fires on board. That will be from the little guns. Big guns just completely missed entirely. I mean, fantastic. These are a seasoned crew. Now, we're on fire a little bit as well. Well, I'm not too bothered about that. The main guns don't look really operable. The rear one isn't. The front two are, but... I don't think they can get a good lock on us. Now that one bounced off. They can take a good hit, these ships, which is fantastic. Now that ship just keeps spinning around in circles. 
which ain't ideal. Where are those transports gone? I've lost sight of them again. Oh, I have as well. That ain't great. I've lost track completely of where they were. Oh, two good hits into the main compartments. That is now done. We just need to take care of that little thing now. We're already aiming at it. That should give us a direction of where the enemy transports are. Whether we can catch it or not is questionable. Because we can only go 12.7 knots with our damaged engine. But we'll try to take that out, I guess. And then probably leave. Yeah, looks like they're just getting out of it. So we missed our opportunity. We took a bit of a beating there by the looks of the scorch marks on the side of the hull. Our main guns have been damaged as well. Most of the casemates are fine, but yeah. Nasty. Well, there we have it, that's another one. The transports got away, but we sank the armoured cruiser. Got this fleet now to the north of Japan. I don't think there's enough tonnage here to launch a... Um, what's it called? Invasion. But when the other fleet arrives, it might be enough. Well, and if we were to grab north... Okoidu, that would be fantastic. It really would. We'd have a good naval base up here. 74,000 tonnes worth of port capacity. That will be able to support many of the areas over here. Might even be able to finish off the Spanish, but we might just leave them to it for the time being. But two more battles to do. One of our older um, pre refit Cincinnati class. Versus a armoured cruiser of theirs. These are veterans as well. Oh, this is the original. Still hasn't been updated. Let's see how this goes on, shall we? To the north. So this is a light cruiser versus a armoured cruiser. But if it's one of their old ones, then we should absolutely smash it to pieces. And it's one of the older ones. We are going to smash this to pieces, which is absolutely fantastic. Even if we were to ram it, the damage control on our ships is so much higher than theirs. To the point where that would be a viable option just to win. <laughs> they appear to be going this way. So we'll go that way. I want to see if we can try and torpedo them. That would be fantastic. Sitch inch gun is firing at them. With what degree of accuracy, I'm not entirely too sure, but it's getting there. So moving closer, it will only increase. We've hit it. Uh, three inch gun hit it. Partial pen. Another three inch hit it. It's not going to do very much. Let's try and get our ship in a torpedo run position. Oh, they hit us! Oh, that's not acceptable. Oh, nice! We just took out their torpedoes. Over pen. The three inch guns are ripping them apart already. Torpedoes in the water now. Let's do a hard left. That looks good. That really does. Oh, they might just dodge it. And the elf? No way. We're at risk now though of getting slapped by a torpedo, not gonna lie. Oh no, we took them all out, didn't we? Nice, I forgot about that. Oh, we can just sit right alongside this thing. And pepper it to death. That sounds like a fantastic thing to do. The jet just sat right alongside it and we're just gonna absolutely smash it. Try and keep our speed up a little bit, but we need to try and get at a good angle. Many of these are going in. Fires are everywhere. Flooding now. Oh, brilliant. Oh, they're not having a good day, really. Try and slow my ship down while we focus on this even more. Engines are gone. The funnels are gone. The towers are gone. All the main armaments are gone. There's just a few little... And even all them are dead. Gone. Oh, wow. Yeah, that thing is done. They're going to surrender. There you go. Excellent. 
Another small victory. Another battle here. Oh, 11 transports here. And they have a battleship guarding it. That's one of their newer ones. Interesting. And a torpedo about. Now we have two Cincinnati class ships. One of them is the upgraded though. One, the other one isn't. So we'll just have a quick dabble. Might stream out, line it straight for the transports here. Don't want to be in a breast. We want to... Oh, we might do. Yeah, I might do that. Line of breast. Normal spacing. We'll go for... Save ammunition and things. Because there's going to be a lot of them. They are where? East? That way. Full speed. Go. The battleship has already been spotted. Those are... Nine inch guns. Little small for a battleship. However... All, really all appears to have what it has really the it's got a couple of casemates but nothing serious there's all the transports I'm more frightened of that torpedo boat if I'm gonna be completely honest this thing is really cruising in here I mean, we could go for a torpedo run on this thing which would be quite funny, not going to lie, but we'll see if we can do it. The Ostrola is the older crew, uh, the older ship, not refitted yet. As this one is, the Louisville. They've been in multiple combats, the seasoned crew, rather excellent. It's the ranges of their stuff. I'm just going to streamline it straight for those transports. I mean, that battleship's even, to be fair, lining up quite nicely for a torpedo run, but those guns are very dangerous. Nine inch guns on them, they'll reload quite well. They're firing HE, which probably means. Oh, no, they're not. They're firing armor piercing now. We'll just see what happens with that. What's the armor on this thing? Not very much, but we're going to struggle. Against that, we don't have big guns on these things. Put some smoke down so we don't get blapped by that thing. And we're just going to go steamrolling into these transports. Now, these transports are actually armed. Okay. That's a one we don't see too often. That's probably only going to be the second time this has happened to me. But we're going to go straight in regardless. We've actually just caused a little bit of damage on this thing. The three inch shells are going in. Are you mad? Oh, it's only a partial pen. It's not going to do right much, to be completely honest. But we are now aiming straight at these. I don't even mind if they fire the torpedoes at them. We'll put them now in ahead. Just let them do their thing. We're going to start smashing these. Flooding is already happening. All of these are firing at us. Now they're not going to be very good. They're all cadets, so their accuracy is going to be abysmal, but it is what it is. As long as we sink them, that's a crushing blow to the Austrian economy. We're going to watch out for these things trying to ram us. They do do that got lots of small guns on here which is fantastic for dealing plenty of damage to these things seven point two inch guns went in there ripped that apart that's good transports are firing desperately but they're not even scoring any hits they're not a threat and even if they do these things can take it easily if it was a torpedo boat they might be in trouble because they've got no armor on them couple of hits and those things go down quite easily but not with these these can take quite a bit of punishment to be completely honest slowly getting through them I'm working my way towards the front so I can take these out first and then swoop back and take care of the rest that torpedo boat is creeping closer I'm not gonna lie it's a little bit concerning 
Our battleship is lagging way behind, but it is there. You can see where we've actually hit the thing, but it's not really caused any real damage bar from a little bit of scorching. So they might just need to redo the paint, but that ain't going to stop them from being combat effective. So we just need to be on our guard. Just caught up to the other group. Battleship is starting to fire at us again now, and that torpedo boat keeps just out of distance, really, for our guns to hit them. So we're just going to carry on, go over the transports, and smashing them to pieces. Last two now. Excellent. Like little machine guns, really, aren't they? Absolutely fantastic. So many hits. And they're all going to be going for there, and once that's done. We may be able to just keep going, but that torpedo boat is looking like it's going to be a menace. Hoping we could potentially take that thing out. But that has been absolutely hammered. Nice. Mission accomplished. Now we're just going to get out of here attempt to do so. Firing the secondaries at that torpedo boat. If a few of them hit, then that's going to be good. It won't be able to sustain the damage for very long. This thing has one 4.8 inch gun on the front of this. No armor on it, well that's still quite something. Why are they all aiming for that thing now? No, 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 no. Go for that one. Oh, we hit one! No flooding though, that's what I want. Oh, there we go, just like that. A few more of them. Battleship's just keeping the distance. Fine by me. More overpen. Destroyed me. Oh, the secondaries are done, all of them. Nice. Oh, and it's going down rapid, look at that. Excellent. That's why we like the little machine guns on this thing. Now we could go for a potential torpedo run, but I don't think it's going to be worth it, to be completely honest. Might just get out of it. There we go. 11 transports of the torpedo boat gone. Fantastic. Got more little battles floating around. I'll try and tackle a few of these. This one is... Oh, an updated... Cincinnati, since oh, I always do that wrong. Cincinnati or Cincinnati, whatever you want to call it, against another one of their heavy cruisers. Let's go in there. At this rate, they're going to be running out of ships, you know. All these armored cruisers, they've got plenty of them, and they're all just getting absolutely smashed. Enemy spotted. Let's see if I can get a torpedo run on this thing. If I come at it, if I go that way, they're going to come in. And then if I, oh, that might not work. I'll just go straight at them, wait for them to turn, and then adjust accordingly. Oh, they've already turned. Right, if I go that way then, I should be able to get a good torpedo running. Now, these have the three kilometer radius for the torpedoes. Let's just see if we can get some of them in. I got that angle, it might be better. Are we gonna launch one? That's a good question. Now they're on save ammunition, but I think I'm gonna have to aim it around that way, so I need to turn sharp. To have a hope of getting this on. There you go, torpedo is away. We're hitting it. Engine damage. Torpedo looks good. Nice. Oh, that is excellent. We need to do a hard left rapid. Oh, no. Ship avoidance has 
stuffed me up there. We're just going to have to stop for the time being and blast it. It's not having a good day. Oh, they hit us! That ain't good. I think that's the first penetration that I've seen them do on one of mine. Now we can think about getting some speed up again. Oh no. Ah, oh, we got torped. We'll be alright. We'll be fine. Oh, we're taking a lot of water actually. Went in the engine bay. Hopefully we can sort that out. We've still got all our weapons. They're not having a good time of it. These are veteran crew. They should be fine. Look at that. More flooding. We can always repair this ship. No problem. As long as we don't get torped again. We'll be fantastic. Two engines down there is a little bit much. The rest of their torpedoes are gone. They can no longer fire because of the extreme list that they have. Oh, it's all happening. They're not having a good day. And there you go. Lovely. Another one down. So another armoured cruiser down. What else do we have here? We've got another... Oh, looks that similar thing, but another one. Let's try and eliminate that. What? How many f more ships do they actually have? Not too many. Seven battleships, eight armed cruisers, and four torpedo boats. Now, those battleships we're going to have to take care of with our own. Hopefully, they'll go and intercept them at some point. Just found the enemy. It's another one of these, and they're going to have to replace them by something at some point. I don't know what they're going to be building. Might be why they've got a few battleships now. So they didn't seem to have them before. Going to go for the same tactic. Try and get an early torpedo off. Hopefully earlier than the previous one. If I come in at this sort of angle, we might get one on. Maybe. Maybe a little bit flatter. Gotta launch it soon. Come on, launch it. They'll only fire when it's a good hit. Don't think they're gonna do. To be completely honest. No, we haven't. Or oh, we might even collide here. Yeah, a little bit of ramage. I think the torpedo launched. <laughs> Something did, but they're knackered now. Oh, that was rapid. That all just kind of happened all at once. Another armoured cruiser down the drain. This one might be a little bit more interesting. We've got a lone battleship versus two of our light cruisers and 12 of their transport ships. Now we could go for the kill on this. The two light cruisers that I do have have the improved... Oh, it's a nighttime one. Oh, okay. Have the improved um, range on the torpedo, both of them. For some reason we can't see them anymore, so we better go get going. Here comes the enemy battleship. It's one of their newer ones. It's got 9 inch guns on it. No torpedoes to speak of though. Because it is night time. That is actually incredibly close already. Kind of need that to turn. So what I'm going to do is go and line abreast. Not line abreast. Um, line ahead. Turn right at it and just see if that thing turns. Now their main transports was in that direction so once we've launched a few torpedoes at this thing I'm gonna go for them which way are you going to turn that is the big question it's still yet to do so oh, it looks like it's doing a hard left which is good for us because then we can do a hard right well not necessarily even a hard right won't be that good at maneuvering I can't imagine so hopefully we can get a good shot off without being murdered get some smoke in the air can we get a top off that is the good question let's 
try and get this right. Stay too close to this thing for too long. We're not going to be having a good time of it. Come on, launch your torpedo. They're all crashing up there. I can hear them in the background. And we're taking... Oh, torpedoes away. Nice. Right, you go north. Provide you off. Oh, torpedo hit. Nice. Let's try and get another one on. Oh, that is not having a good time. They're going down. One torpedo hit. Oh, fantastic. Oh, what a good dude that was. Now we just need to go that way. Try not to hit the other ship, please. Thankfully. Yeah, they're all just there. Nice, let's just go in. Already scoring many hits from the all secondaries. Are they even armed? No, they're not. They're just sitting ducks. They may try and ram me. They've done that before. We have torpedoes available as well, which they are allowed to use. I'm going to try and go in line abreast and just murder them all. To slow them down just while they keep firing. Blap them from a distance. Why not? Oh, yeah, these are all getting absolutely hammered. Somewhere there's a torpedo flying around as well. Up here. Yeah, good hit, good hit. They're all just being absolutely blapped. This is fantastic. Now that all these are going to be aiming for these as well. The Youngstown still coming up as well. Pick off the stragglers. Absolute chaos. All of these transports are either going down or have surrendered already. It's like they're in just a solid drive-by is this at this point. little fast for them. Can't take them out that quickly. That one's nearly gone. I don't even remember hitting that one, but that's nearly done. Got the one at the back to come and finish them off. That's another one. These three inch guns rip the crew apart like no tomorrow. Yeah, I know there's not that many of them, but still. Oh, here we go. They've changed direction. There's another one all the way up there as well. Let's just keep going, I guess. Torpedo is away as well. That's quite funny. Don't think it's going to be a hit, though. Going between them, that list means we can fire both broadsides off at the same time. Absolutely fantastic. Well and truly going down. Just need a little bit more speed now. Let's catch up to these ones. Youngstown isn't <laughs> catching up in time, to be completely honest. Louisville, who are already veterans, are going to be certainly getting even more experience. Well and truly done. There's only two left. A long stream of death behind us. Point blank range here. Flooding is catastrophic in an instant. Nice. Just one left. And the last one is now about to go down. Oh, fantastic. I haven't got any engines left while we do this speedy drive by. Fantastic. Oh, yes. Well, that certainly gives us a bit of a boost. We lost two crewmen. And all of them are dead. Fantastic. And we've got the battleship as well. What a good bonus. Got another one here. We have one of our, two of our older uh, pre-refit ones against two of their armored cruisers and five transports that have 
can't imagine they're going to have many left by the end of this. You can already see their transports. Should be five of them. Don't quite know where they're... Oh, there it is. Some more of these. I think they've already got four more left, and then that's it. They've, they're out. Sinking that many of them recently, especially in that bigger battle that we had. We've already opened fire. I'm not too sure what they're targeting, but they're having a go. The ones on the left are going for the transports, maybe. Oh, that's another armored cruiser there. They might be aiming for that. We'll try and line ourselves up. Well, something got hit badly then. We'll try and line ourselves up for a torpedo run on that armored cruiser. Damaged one of the main guns already. Torpedo detonation. It's already having massive catastrophic flooding. Not a good start for the enemy ships here. What are they doing? Oh, they're doing a full shifty roo. Oh, that's going to the back of formation. That's what's happening. We'll try and torpedo the one at the back. We'll see what happens. Will we launch a torpedo already? I don't know. Somehow we've already sunk one of the transports. Nice, their torpedoes have been destroyed. Torpedo is away. They don't have any torpedoes left to speak of. That is a good, solid hit. Try and detach this and get one off on that thing. That would be fantastic. Kaiser Karl is not going to be having a good day. Are we going to launch one? No, it doesn't really look like it that we are, to be completely honest. We can have the Helena taking care of these transports while the Cleveland destroys these. By the looks of things, it ain't going to be too difficult neither because they're already on the last legs. Oh, fantastic. Kaiser Karl has got such a list on it, it's not going to be very combat effective. Main armaments are damaged as well. A lot of small calibre fire coming in, ripping these things apart. Lots of ricochets, but that is to be expected. accidentally ramming them. Never mind. It's all good. It's hard to keep an eye on them all at the same time sometimes. That's it. Destroy them guns and things. That'll be fantastic. That's half the reason why I wanted greater firepower on these things to help deal the damage necessary to these. I mean, the rudders are gone and a lot of the armaments are heavily damaged and taken out, but it's still a threat and a ship that needs to be sunk. That's another transport gone. Hoping that we fire a transport, not a fire a transport, fire a torpedo. Panther has surrendered. Oh, that is very good news. We might even fire a torp right at that. How is it going up here? Aiming for that and taking care of the one behind it as well. That's very good. Hoping we launch a torpedo. But we shall see. Currently we're aiming more for the transports by the looks of things. Torpedo is away. How did you miss that? Well, that was a waste, wasn't it? Never mind. Doesn't matter. We've neither got all of these done. All of these ships are under heavy fire. Cleveland is making short work of all this. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Flooding. Kaiser Karl is going to go down. Helena is happy. We can turn her around. Might be a little too late though. We've only got two transports, lot one left to go now. 
Fantastic. These are juicy ships. I mean, yeah, they're not going against any real opposition right now, but it is good just how easily they sail around and smash these things up. It is an armoured cruiser. They are good at taking a hit. But still, that is just decimating. And that is the last one of them. Fantastic. More death and destruction. Fantastic. Fantastic, and there's one more, and I think we'll save that for next time, I've kind of had enough. Thank you very much for watching, I will see you in the next video. Let me know your thoughts on the quality of this mic, how it sounds currently, it's a new one, I need to tweak it and everything else, that would be good. Thank you very much, bye!